What the F is up internet? I'm that dude Swainzilla. AKA old guy with too much time on his hands, well, actually I'm just an avatar, because this bum is too damn lazy to film and edit a webcam video for this. Anywho, I'm coming at you from the man cave, and I'm about to drop a brand new digital caricature drawing on dad ass. Let's get into it shall we? Here we are in Photoshop. We always start with a yellowish canvas, because plain white is boring as hell and the yellow seems easier on the eyes. We'll frame our caricature at the end, so we use this background oval as a guide. It'll help us figure out how we want our subject to fit on the page. In this video we will be drawing the notorious B.I.G. Big, B.I., Big Papa, the Black Frank White, Biggie. We start by roughly sketching in the three major shapes, his shoulders, will give him a big ass head, and his dope AF hat, let's get our center line in there, and start giving our shapes some shape, chin, mouth, nose, eyes, knock in a couple more features, gotta work on this collar a bit, define the hat some more, get rid of our oval, sloppy, but not a bad start, we'll make a couple adjustments, drop in a few more details. Stretch the entire sketch out a bit, give him a tilt, and now we are gonna do some slicing and dicing. Separate the shoulders and move them around. Free transform the head too, adjust the eyes a bit, and then his hat. Let's run a light eraser over the entire thing, and attempt to tighten up some of these lines. Give our dude some structure, and cartoon it up a tick. Ears. Brows. We use a red pencil brush while sketching cause we dig the contrast. You can already tell who it's supposed to be. Gonna chop him up again. It's a good thing this guy broke down and bought a drawing tablet, can you imagine how much paper he would go through? Let's erase him down again, and now we are switching to a smaller blue pencil brush to punch in some more details. He got those heavy lids. You know what I mean? We're just trying to mold these lines, kinda like sculpting a statue, from a blob to a finished product, get rid of these red lines, and take a look at him, he's getting closer and closer to where we want him to be, but we definitely want to move him around some more, we'll start with the eyes, we gotta do some head shrinking ish, making his shoulders and chest smaller, makes his head look bigger, we'll try to get his face in the right place, Let's lower our opacity and add a new layer, and now we're going in with a dark grey. We are really trying to get the eye sockets right. Really trying to get those eyes lined up. This is when it feels like drawing. Up until now we were just sketching. Although, we aren't committing to anything yet. Just trying to find edges of stuff. Let's make a few more quick adjustments. Zoom in and really start working over these lines. I don't know about you, but he looks really stoned to me. We do a bunch of erasing and redrawing. This guy is far from a good artist, but he is patient as hell. He's drawn most of these lines eight different times already. Zoom out to look at him, his eyes and hat are giving us issues gotta get the nose right and then it's just a bunch of poking and prodding until we get the details looking right this difference between drawing digitally and drawing on paper is that on paper you can see the whole drawing digitally if you can see the whole drawing it's small and hard to draw details and when you zoom in to diddle with the smaller lines you can't really see how it affects the rest of the drawing that's probably why this guy has to make so many adjustments and redraw so much. We pretty much have the details down to how we want them to look, but we still want to make the overall shapes look as good as possible. That'll have to do, lower the opacity, and add a new layer again. Time to lay down some ink. This is one of the most fun parts of doing this, but it's also a little agonizing. It's making a lot of commitments, and that is not this guy's strong suit. We use a thick to thin brush to kind of design each line. We just want to make them as cool looking as possible. Because this guy isn't smart enough to figure out a way to fix them down the road, without messing other stuff up. They are kind of set in stone. He'll figure it out eventually. Probably. 
How fun are Biggie's lips? There is just so much going on. I can't think of many dudes who are recognizable just by their mouth. I get a kick out of watching these back time laps like this, the lines just flying around looks crazy. It's pretty easy to tell by now, that this guy has no formal training. He's literally guessing where these lines should go all willy nilly. He's really just trying to frame the different shapes and add super dark shadows. His fingers are crossed that it'll look right at the end. Did you know that Big has a verse on a Michael Jackson song? The song is called This Time Around, and it's definitely worth a listen. MJ says shit like a hundred times. He's also on a Shaquille O'Neal track called You Can't Stop the Rain. I'm probably not gonna listen to that one though. We'll finish up the rest of the inking real quick, then start adding some color. Let's dump the yellow, and we'll start with his head. This guy doesn't know a thing about color, so we'll be adjusting it a lot also. So for now, we are going as basic as possible. How cool is this blue? Get his hat. His shirt is whitish, eyes. We'll give his face some tone, put some blood in his head. Put some life into his lips. Then add a general shadow and light gradient. Oopsie, a little too much light. Add a new layer, then come in with some more specific shadows. Drawing something is one thing, painting it is a different animal. I guess that's acceptable for now. And now we do the same thing, but with the highlights. Add another new layer, lighten our highlight color and try to get more detailed with it around the face. Then back out and hit the bigger areas. Then we repeat the same steps with the jacket. And then onto the hat. Slowly, but surely. Target the undershirt, he made it look purple somehow, I guess it looks cool though. Eyes can be pretty tricky but he'll do his best, whatever that's worth. Now he mashes the separate flat colors, shadows, highlights, and duplicated ink layers together. In hindsight he would do this differently. Then adjust the face's saturation, contrast, and brightness. Rinse and repeat with the hat and jacket, then the shirt, and eyes. Add a new layer over the face and give it a new coat of shadow. The idea is to deepen the color and fade the shades together. Add another multiply layer and dial in the details. It's starting to make sense. Then back to the highlights. We just wanna brighten up spots where some light is hitting him with a screen layer. Slap on another multiply layer, and we're back to darkening up these shadows. Our guy looking like Mr. Potato Head, I mean Potato Head. Gotta get all up in those crevices. Then back to the highlights. I swear this guy has done this before. If he knew how to paint these things half decent, he'd be dangerous, but, you know, at least he is trying. Using making these videos as incentive to practice and get better is admirable. But it's borderline torture watching him stumble through it right now. Any tips would be appreciated. Finish up the hat, the jacket, the shirt, and eyes. Then we squish all of our colored layers together. Now we're just gonna adjust the saturation, contrast, brightness and levels of our one big color layer. Add another round of shadow and highlights. Really tightening up the details. We give the color another quick adjustment. Let's frame this dude up and call it a day. As big as his head is, most of the frame is hidden. Cut off the excess, frame the frame. We'll go with a red background. Throw a little outline around him. Center him up, gray backdrop, slap his name on there and ta-da.